Hey guys, it's Fefe, and today, so we just got a new Smith & Wesson Victory, and we put some tandem crossing parts on it to make it go faster, and today we are going to be doing first shots and an ammo test. Right here we have five different types of ammo, ammos, and we're just going to see how it goes. First off, we're gonna do some CCI mini mags, um, 40 grain copper plated round nose, and yeah. <sighs> Those ran flawlessly. Let's check the Winchesters next. Um, the Winchesters they have a different shaped um whatever this is called. <laughs> Pull it. So, um, it seems to be interfering with the with the capacity. So, in both bags, they only hold nine rounds. Okay. So, aside from that, let's let's just text the functionality. Already got a malfunction. Let me see that chamber. All right. So this is what happened when I had a feeding problem. So, but it might have just been me. So let's continue on and see what happens. Pretty sure I put the safety on. Yeah. So we had a dead trigger there. The primer was not struck. Uh, might I might have the trigger tuned a little bit too tight. It might not have reset, so we're gonna test it again. The round go in. Go ahead. Okay. All right. All right. So those malfunctions were not the ammo's fault. That was my fault. I have the uh, reset, the pre-travel screw on the tandem cross trigger set a little bit too tight. So. I loosened it up and she resets now. She's all right. So, um, so I did, I Loctited this screw for over travel, but I did not Loctite that one. I was a little bit worried about this happening. So once I figure out where it needs to be, I'll Loctite it up and we'll be all right. But uh, this is something to be aware of with the tandem cross trigger. Next. So let's just put the ammo that ammo that we had a malfunction with back in the mag, back in the mag, and let's go. It happened again. So he loosened up the trigger and let's go. Nine rounds, flawless. 
So now we have the fe 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 federal grade auto match. Um, and these are also 40, 40 grain lead nose. <laughs> All right, run it. Let's continue. Do the mag. Well, that ran flawlessly. Next, we're gonna try some Aguila, Aguila lead, 40 grain lead bullets. Go and ahead. are you just gonna see? Again. So that one actually might have been me because um so I like I've been in the habit of like doing it for the MMP. So like I would like, the grip I accidentally might have accidentally flipped it on safety. So on safety it feels like a dead trigger, but it's really not. All right, so. What she was having a problem with was not necessarily the tandem cross trigger uh, pre-travel, but was actually the safety location. She's coming from larger center fire pistols, and the MMP 22C, which has a safety that you easily flick with this, um, I've taught her to flag that that thumb for a proper grip on larger nine millimeter pistols, and that is actually causing her to accidentally actuate the safety. So it's something to be aware of on this gun. Uh, if you're coming from other pistols, you might accidentally hit that. It, it does actuate rather easily. In the up direction, it has a little bit more resistance going down. So something to think about. So what I'm about to show you is what, what it feels like when the safety's on. So there's nothing in there, but when it's charged properly, that's the pre-travel, safety's on, it feels like a dead trigger. So that's the difference. So we're gonna rerun a full mag of Aguila rounds and see if I can keep my finger off that safety, so. Okay, so the last round we're going to check is the browning performance, round nose, 40 grain bullet. Alright, go ahead. Make sure that safety's off.
Run it. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay, so there you go. We had a few issues with manip weapons manipulation. Uh, the Winchester feeding problem, uh, that very first round was actually the magazine not being seated properly, so not Winchester ammunition issue at all. We had some trigger configuration issues with uh, me setting that pre-travel screw a little bit too tight. Uh, can't fault the ammo for that. We did have a couple hammer drops that did not ignite the primers on the ammunition, but that's kind of the nature with 22 ammo, right? So with the limited amount of rounds, we can't really draw any conclusions on that. The point of this video was to make sure that all the ammo fed properly. And I think it did. I think that was a successful test for those five brands. I don't have any issue running those at all. Uh, she, Stephanie did say she kind of liked the browning the best so far. So we'll see how things go in the future and we'll keep you posted. All right, if you like what we're doing on the channel, like, subscribe, share it with your friends. We'll check you next time. Out.